Okay, guys, if you think about that verse, saying, I'll stand with arms high and a heart abandoned in all of the one who gave it all. I'll stand, my soul, Lord, to you surrendered. All I am is yours. Everything that we are, everything that we have, we wouldn't have it if it weren't for God. God gave that to us. And uh, in Job, pretty much everybody, I think, knows the story of Job. He had pretty much everything a guy could want, and Satan wanted to test him, and God chose to let him test Job, and everything he had was taken away from him. And in verse 20 of the first chapter of Job, it says, Job stood up and tore his robe in grief. Then he shaved his head and fell to the ground to worship. He said, I came naked from my mother's womb, and I'll be naked when I leave. The Lord gave me what I had, and the Lord has taken it away. Praise the name of the Lord. God gave him everything. He knew that. So he had no room to complain when he took it all back. And he praised the Lord because even though everything had been taken away, he praised him because he knew that he wouldn't have it without him to begin with. And I just want each of us to just think about that whenever we go through life. Every time we just get mad because something happens, something doesn't go our way, we would be in a lot bigger mess if we didn't have God. And he will help us through anything.
Let's sing through that chorus again. And what we're going to do is we're going to sing through it once with the music, and the second time through, let's just do the drums. And when we get to that point, what I want you to do is I want you to use this first time through. And I want you to, in your mind, I want you to take whatever it is that's occupying your thought right now. If there's a situation at home that you're dealing with, if there's, for some of you, maybe it's, maybe it's disbelief. Maybe some of you are here going, I still don't know for sure in my heart that there is a God. Some of you are like, God, I've trusted you. I've tried. I've tried. And it feels like every time I turn around, you're letting me down. I mean, if we're honest, sometimes that's where we're at. But here's what I'm telling you tonight. Wherever you're at, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're facing, it's time to get abandoned. It's time to just let it go and let God move. So as we sing this song through the first time, I want you to get that. And I want you to think about it. I want you to think about it. I want you to, I want you to let your thoughts go there, to let your mind go there. And then when we get to the second time and the music cuts out and it's just the drums, I want you guys, in an act of abandon, I want you to sing as loud as you can. And the louder you get, that means you're letting it go. The more you just, you get angry about it. You get, you get frustrated. You get it all and you just get all that emotion and you just get it out. I'll stand arms high and a heart abandoned in all young person adult we've lost our sense of all tonight we're going to get it back right now we're going to get it back as you sing it that second time i want you to get let out the frustration let out the anger let out the confusion let out whatever it is that's blocking your mind that's occupying your thoughts and when we sing through that second time i want you to let in an awe of god you know what it all means how many of you have heard the word awesome okay the word awesome and the word all come from the same root word it means a fear that's what all means it means standing in like a reverent fear. How many of you guys know Smiley? Okay. Smiley is like a world champion, like MMA. He's this big, big dude. All right. I call him like the human eclipse, not to his face. Because like if he stands between you and the sun, you, you're, you don't see the sun. Okay. The dude is huge. He shakes your hand, and like your hand just disappears. All right, I'm a big guy. All right, I have an awe of Smiley. Okay, when I see that man, I have a reverent fear. Now, is Smiley going to hurt me? No, because I'm not going to do anything to make Smiley want to hurt me. All right, it's like that, except times a thousand when it comes to God. We know God doesn't want anything but the best for us. But yet we still have this reverent fear of who he is. I mean, this is God. And he wants to have a relationship with you. That's what it means to stand in awe. So guys, let's think through that. The first time, I want you to think about what it is that's occupying your mind, your thought life. If it's a sin that you're struggling with, if it's a relationship, if it's your parents, whatever it is. You think about it, and in that second time, you let it go, and you let in an awe and a reverence of God.
Sing it again. Sing it again. tonight all we have everything that we have everything that we are lord we give it to you tonight lord don't stop doing what you're doing tonight and lord for those that that the hearts are still hard and for those that just haven't let go lord i pray that over the next few minutes lord you speak to them in a real way lord i am i am so nothing without you lord i've prayed about tonight Lord, I've studied for tonight. Lord, I had plans for tonight. But more than anything, I confess my need of you tonight. More than anything, I look to you tonight. More than anything, I lean not on my own, my own understanding, but I acknowledge you tonight. Move in this place. Move in this place. Move in this place, God. In your name. Amen. You guys can be seated. I'm not going to talk long tonight. Check, check, check. I'm not going to talk long tonight. Um, and then we still have another song or two. You guys can just, if you guys want to just chill, you guys can just chill. Guys, we have announcements and offering and all that kind of stuff that we will get to. Um, oh, this is weird. It's like lopsided. Tonight, um, I really only have one scripture. And it's Isaiah 26. And guys, we're finishing up the Call of Duty series. Uh, next week, we're going to do something a little kind of lighthearted and and uh, hopefully probably have some cake or something like that and just, I mean, have a chill week. Um, and this week, the intent was to kind of do a message and do everything surrounding the crucible. Now, the crucible is like the Marines' final week of boot camp. I mean, this is like, this is like when everything that they've learned is kind of put to the test. Everything that they're supposed to be about comes out. In that, in that week to see if, if they, they get it. And what we're going to do is surround it around the cross and around the crucifixion. The crucible, the crucifixion, and uh, that type of thing. But tonight I really feel, and I'm, I'm going to try to work some of that in, you know, God willing. Um, but I just really feel like all of us, and me included, in a, in a very real sense, we've really lost an awe of what God is about. We've lost that desire, that, that need of him. And, and look, I'll be honest. I mean, last week we had like military guns and, and Christian with all of his like military lingo and all that kind of stuff. And, and, you know, we were outside after church was over with the night vision and we were doing all that kind of stuff. And it was a lot of fun. And we've had Mike, you know, come out of the ceiling you know, repel, we had the lasers, and we've had Eddie and Eric, and we've had the videos, and we've, we've tried to do everything I could to not make it boring, to engage you guys, to get you guys to the point to where you want to invite somebody, to get you guys to the point to where it means something, and you guys can hook into it. But the thing is, is that even six or seven weeks into it, I see the same faces. 